Welcome to Electron Line. Since the output voltage is equal to the product of the open loop gain and the voltage difference between the voltage between the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal, what happens when that voltage difference becomes too large and the product of the open loop gain times that voltage difference is so large that the output voltage exceeds the VCC? Now the VCC is the voltage supply of the power supply and the V output of the operational amplifier is limited by that voltage. In other words, you cannot get more voltage out of the operational amplifier than the power supply puts onto the operational amplifier. So there's a limit there. And if you try to exceed that limit, what we say is then the operational amplifier saturates. It can saturate both at the positive end, on the positive input voltage, or at the negative end, at the negative input voltage. We call that positive saturation and negative saturation. In between those two values, we have what we call a linear region where the output voltage is simply a linear function of the voltage difference, where A here, the open loop gain, is called the slope of that function, like the y equals mx plus b. So A simply is, represents the slope of that linear region. And of course, when, you get too, when the voltage gets to be too large, when the output voltage tries to exceed the VCC, then the linear region stops, and now we simply have a flat line called the positive saturation line. That means the output voltage, which is a product of the open loop gain and the voltage difference, always must be between those two values. And typically, we try to operate the operational amplifier between those two values. So we don't really have to worry about saturation. However, we need to be aware of it because sometimes it will happen if you connect the, the circuit in an incorrect fashion and you get a voltage difference in such a way that the voltage output will exceed the voltage input of the supply, then you will be at saturation. You simply need to be aware of that. You probably want to make some changes on your circuitry not to let that happen. You typically always want to work somewhere between those two endpoints. You want to be in that linear region. So that's what we mean by saturating the operational amplifier.